Good morning, everyone. My name is Richard Evans. I'm with Caliber Yachts, and today we're going to show you a 73-foot Pioneer. Now, the reason it's called a Pioneer is because it was way ahead of its time uh, when the boat was built. This is an offshore boat that's crossed the uh, Pacific Ocean numerous times uh, between Maui and here, and was formerly owned by the owner of the Hilton Hotel in Maui, which is why it's made so many trips. But just look at her. Absolutely beautiful bow, classic bridge, so much space aboard this boat with a 20 foot beam, stable with a six and a half foot draft, and active stabilizers to keep it steady. So as you can see, this vessel is seriously set up for ocean crossing, but wait till you see inside. In fact, I'm getting ahead of myself. Follow me, you're gonna love this. Just look at this space, will you? This is one of, not one, but two aft decks. This is the lower aft deck, rigid hard top to protect you from the weather and from the sun. But look at the size of this, this dance floor. It's like 130 plus square feet. Imagine yourself set up with some nice furniture here and uh, very comfortably sitting back here, having a meal and just watching the world go by. Just look at that, isn't that beautiful? What a great space. Over here, this is a really, this is a really cool spot. Just sitting here and enjoying, enjoying the, uh, the company or just uh, having a time to yourself. Great place to hang out. Now up here, uh, notice this incredible davit system. Horizontal lift, uh, very easy to use. Uh, the boat comes with uh, a Boston Whaler, 13-foot Boston Whaler with uh, a 50 horsepower outboard, uh, four-stroke. Um, just uh, really well equipped and uh, ideal for just running around and visiting people in cottages and uh, local areas. Huge bollard on the stern. Just look at the size of this thing. Everything on this vessel is so overbuilt. Now have a look at these side decks. Nice and wide, easy to maneuver, and very, very high rails. Isn't that nice? And a very safe, well-constructed vessel. And you know what, I, I really love this, having the washer and dryer outside. And it's not a combination unit. Uh, you've got a separate washer and a separate dryer and it works really, really well. And the idea of having it out here on the deck is that uh, when you're using it, you're not gonna get all that moisture into the boat. Brilliant, brilliant place to put it. Now above is this great countertop. And why would the countertop be here? Well, right in behind here is the galley. Look at that. You can prepare your food and bring the food out to put it here and uh, entertain your guests right from the space here. Great idea, isn't it? Now over here, well, it looks like a grand staircase, doesn't it? Heading up to the upper deck. And of course, all of the space up there is uh, available for lounging and just relaxing as well. And look at this, this beautiful Burmese teak. It's oh, hard to believe that the boat of this vintage is kept in such wonderful condition. Now, inside, you're in for a real treat. Have a look at this. What a beautiful space in here. This just really feels good. I'm standing on this incredibly plush carpet. And I think the carpet must be new because it, it looks new. And anyway, having said that, come on with me. Let's go up and have a look at the pilot house. Wow, and here is the pilot house. And it's so big and airy and bright and uh, great visibility all around. And notice that uh, you've got uh, opening doors to your side decks on both sides. It's uh, great for when you're docking or just ease of moving around the boat. Uh, home chair right in the center. This is an amazing space. Well, let's just go through some of what's in here. Uh, we've got uh, radar. Um, it's old, but it's very functional. Uh, we've got uh, wind machines up here. Not one, but two uh, VHF. Forward-looking sonar. Very nice to have um, to uh, pick up uh, 
objects on the surface, but also um, sonar shooting down as well. So uh, both are interfaced into this one unit. Next to that, we've got uh, a GPS uh, and uh, another wind machine over here and your second VHF over there. Uh, you've got uh, Navnet uh, on the uh, computer and uh, here uh, you've got uh, your autopilot uh, engine controls right here and this beautiful wheel right here in the center. Awesome space and I like these analog gauges and I've talked about this before. I prefer analog gauges. Um, the, uh, it's just so easy to uh, get a feel for exactly what's going on at all times. Access to the bridge deck uh, through here and again beautifully finished. Absolute gorgeous gorgeous wood and finished in such great detail. And just uh, next to that is this big settee. Uh, the settee can hold probably three or four adults. Right here, we have uh, a bank of, what, six uh, chart drawers. And uh, going with the boat is no less than a thousand. Are you ready for this? A thousand charts of the entire West Coast from Mexico all the way up to Alaska. Uh, the, uh, I know that uh, we have our GPS chart plotters right now, but it's always nice to have paper chart backups, isn't it? Look at this. Now this manages that huge spotlight on the bridge that gives you a two mile radius uh, in terms of visibility. I've never seen a spotlight that big before. It's just huge, kind of like a ship spotlight, easily controlled right with this here. Beautiful. I love this space. Just looking out here, you got great visibility of the water. Um, lots and lots of light in here and this luxurious wood that is finished in a, a space that you can be like really, really comfortable in. You know, sitting in this chair, you're in control of a hundred ton vessel, 73 feet long, 20 foot beam, six and a half foot draft. Wow. Wow. And did I tell you that it's a six inch hull, six inches thick? Three inches of Eric's corn and an inch and a half on each side of that of solid hand laid fiberglass. Where do you want to go with this vessel? It has no limitations. You want to go to the Arctic? Six inch hull. Or the Antarctic? Or to Maui? Or wherever you want to go? Or do you just want to go up the coast and hang out? Maybe in Desolation Sound or the Broughtons? This boat will take you anywhere where you want to go. And you have all of that control right from this area right here. It's an amazing feeling. I can't begin to tell you what it feels like here, but you'll know when you come down and experience it for yourself. So that's about it for this space. Let's go have a look at the salon. Wasn't that something? Just beautiful, eh? Now here we are in the salon, a very cozy space. Again, with these big, beautiful windows letting all this natural light in. And I uh, love this pass through to the, uh, to the galley and in fact, all the way to the back. You can see right to the back from the space here. Um, it's very, very comfortable space. This beautiful Burmese teak. Ah, oh, I just love the feel of this wood. Just, uh, just beautiful. Uh, comfortable space, you could seat uh, four comfortably, uh, probably five. Uh, bring your chairs in from the table there and you could uh, add two more. Look how bright it is with these huge windows letting in all this natural light. Just look at that sunlight pouring in there and look at the view. I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, it's a great space to be in when you just want to relax with friends or, or maybe just on your own with a book. You'll love this space. Let's have a look at the galley. Well, I don't have to tell you that this is the galley and what a great space it is too, isn't it? Have a look at this. This is the uh, pass-through that I showed you earlier that uh, once you've prepared your food, you pass it out onto that uh, table that's uh, outside and 
uh, set up uh, one or two or even three uh, tables out there to, uh, uh, to feed your guests. So let's start with our appliances here. We've got a big four burner stove, electric stove with a big oven down below. And this boat does run off of uh, 50 amps. Um, you don't always have 50 amps up north, but uh, there are two generators down there uh, delivering 80 kilowatts of power. So you'll never have a problem with uh, getting enough power to, to run this. Uh, we've got your microwave oven here, a big one. Uh, toaster oven here. Um, they compensate uh, a lot for um, having the power drain on the oven so they have electric fry pans and what have you and all of those go with the boat as well. Here you've got a uh, full fridge freezer. My goodness it's as big as my fridge and freezer at home. Isn't that amazing? I like this. Uh, this is very very clever. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, it's a, a shoe rack, but it's ideal for storing fruits and vegetables when you're underway. Loads of storage. We've got storage here uh, for uh, dishes with your dish pegs in there so you can customize your fittings to hold the dishes in place. Trash compactor, very handy on a boat no matter where you are. And all the storage down below. Look at this. In here, uh, Dishwasher, of course, who wants to do dishes. Uh, and right here you've got a full bank of drawers. Look at that. And that's wood. Uh, customized, handmade to fit into the space. Big sink with a separate uh, garburetor here as well. I really like this. Have a look at this. This is a 30-gallon garbage can underneath there. So after you've prepared your food and you're cleaning up, you just scoop it all into there. And I, I mean, that is so handy. You put that up, when that's full up, you take it out from the outside on the side deck without having to drag it out through your, uh, through your salon. Isn't that brilliant? And look at this. Just picture this. You're standing here looking out at that, at that view while you're preparing your food. You may not want to leave here. I love this. I love this layout. You're going to love it too. Let's have a look over here. Wow. Look at this, guys. Master cabin. Huge. Full beam of the boat. And it's a 20 foot beam, by the way. A king size bed, full walk around, end tables, loads and loads of storage in here. Have a look at this. Port and starboard hanging, hang up lockers. It's not a locker, like it's a full closet. Bank of drawers right here. More storage in behind here. Opening port lights, big, big opening port lights. Beautiful, beautiful. Around this bed, there's uh, all this. The, in fact, you've got drawers on all sides of the bed. Plenty of storage. And in behind here, this goes all the way back, three feet, back to the transom. And all in behind here is all storage. Up here is more storage behind there, and more storage behind there. This is an amazing, amazing space. And look at the finish, eh? Isn't that beautiful? Is it this? Now down here in the master cabin, this is all American black walnut, and just beautifully finished. I love this space. Just love it. You've got your air conditioning right here. And over here, as well as another uh, backlit hang-up locker. More of a closet than a locker. In here, you have your ensuite. And what an ensuite it is. Uh, it's a mirrored, pretty much all round. Beautiful, large, stand-up shower. Fully enclosed to keep uh, the space nice and clean. And look at this. Um, I, I just can't get over how beautiful this, uh, this has been maintained. Good lighting in here. Another large opening port light. Uh, basin. Lots of drawers. Just look at all these drawers. And the space below the sink. Toilet over here. Custom Pioneer towels. And of course your 
air conditioning vent right here. Pretty nice, eh? Now let's go into the uh, second cabin. I'll show you what's going on in there. So in here in the second cabin, uh, it's pretty good space. Uh, it's right off of your master cabin, so this could be your kid's cabin. Uh, two single beds here, lots of room in here uh, with uh, a chest of drawers right here. And not one, but two opening port lights. And these are big port lights as well. Uh, we, right here we have uh, a large, large hang-up locker uh, for storage of all kinds of uh, coats and stuff. And down below we've got uh, another drawers underneath here as well. Beautiful, isn't it? This uh, access forward takes you down to the uh, deep freeze and to the day head and to the uh, VIP cabin. On the uh, starboard side, we've got a large, large day head, uh, again with a fully enclosed separate shower uh, to keep uh, all the mess inside the shower where it belongs. This beautiful, beautiful head with uh, uh, this beautiful wood that's wonderfully finished and uh, this tile, it's all in such great shape. Amazing how he's maintained this. So moving out of there and moving into the uh, uh, VIP cabin, uh, we've got uh, two beds in here with a settee and uh, the uh, lots of uh, storage space and uh, bookshelves uh, and incredible amount of storage down below. Got a ladder here that uh, will take us up uh, through the hatch uh, into the uh, foredeck. Notice the uh, intercom that we have uh, to the rest of the boat. And in the very front of the boat, we've got this big, big hang-up locker. Storage space here on these end tables. Four opening port lights for lots of ventilation and tend to let that natural light into here. Pretty nice, eh? Now just look at this engine room. It's so wonderfully laid out. Um, beautiful. Everything is so accessible. Uh, 40 kilowatt generator here and another 40 kilowatt generator over on the other side. Uh, we've got uh, your two Cummins diesels uh, generating 250 horsepower each with your aft access to the engine space. And this is huge. Uh, and a workbench with all of your tools and uh, pristine absolutely pristine how he's maintained this boat. Isn't this great? Whether you're greeting your guests or moving to your side deck while you're docking, very easy access from either side. But while we're here, just look at this amazing foredeck. Just such a big space and imagine yourself up here while you're underway just hearing the splash to the bow wave. What an awesome vessel this is. Well, the first thing that uh, you notice up here is this great big space that you could put some reclining teak chairs and just uh, enjoy the world as it's going by. Look at the height of these bulwarks here. That's, uh, that's amazing. And the quality of this finish, just absolutely beautiful. Now check this out, will you? This windlass is massive a 230 volt windlass capable of pulling all 3,000 pounds of ground tackle off the ocean floor got a 210 pound uh, custom built cqr with uh, 410 feet of 5 8 chain wow like this this is very very shippy and check this out Look at the profile there, isn't that something? Very good visibility as you can see from here, you can see all around. You got a locker in behind here, and this locker can contain, well, a lot of things. He's got a boat brush in there and lots of extra line and a, and a hose. This is massive, massive boat. Very comfortable boat, incredibly well built so much space on this boat you're probably going to have a lot of guests and just just look how high those scunnels are and how high the railing is and anyone anyone is going to feel very very comfortable as they're walking forward to the foredeck here again not one but two aft decks just a massive vessel come on up 
And look at how wide this staircase is. So much opportunity out here. This is an amazing space in as much as that uh, you've got a lot of private areas. Uh, you've got a great upper bridge deck up here and a work deck back here where you can keep all of your toys. And so much potential here. This is uh, storage right now. It used to be uh, life raft storage, but uh, now they've converted that into storage and they've uh, got a 13 man life raft right here. You can keep the storage here or you could take it right out and just look at this massive outdoor space here that you could turn into just about anything. Over here, we've got room for uh, kayaks or motorbikes or whatever you want. And you've got this thousand pound davit here that would lift just about anything that you need up here onto this deck. This is an amazing space. I really like it. And over here, look at the seating area right here. That's perfect. All you need to do is put some cushions in there and you've got yet another private space for your guests to relax in. Very, very nice, exciting opportunity here. Now, right under here, uh, we've got uh, a private seating area. Uh, cushions are down below. And as you can see, uh, there's canvas to uh, cover it as well. Now, forward here, look at this, eh? Look at this space. It's just absolutely big. I mean, there's no other term for it. It's big. We've got three helm chairs up here, all covered. Uh, you've got great visibility and a great spot to hang out here in these uh, upper helm seats and the additional uh, twin seats on each side, port and starboard for additional guests. And with the vessel being captain below, you can just sit up here and enjoy the world as it's going by. Beautiful opportunity here. Look at this, look at this ship spotlight. This is massive. This is not just a spotlight, this is a ship's spotlight with a two mile capability. Pretty amazing, eh? Right here we've got a mast that holds all of your antenna and also connecting uh, the mast uh, th past the funnel and to the aft is a cable that will support your full winter cover. Man, you feel like you're on top of the world up here. Wow, didn't I tell you this is an awesome vessel. So much comfort, so much room. Whether you're crossing an ocean or whether you're sitting in an anchorage, this could be a wonderful place to hang out and just enjoy. This vessel can be yours. Give us a call, you'll be very glad you did.